Okay, Molly, so let's take a look at your backhand from the side perspective here. And this is what I was showing you earlier in the in the uh, lesson today. So what you really want to happen is when you start to move to the ball and your racket is back here, before you start to swing, what you really would like is you would like your racket, the your first you would like a little bit of space between you'd like a little space here between your body and let me get this right here you really would like a little space there between that back arm and your elbow and you can see your that's that 50 degrees is pretty close to where you want to be and you have you can see that you have no space there that racket's right next to you the second thing that you'd like really to happen is is you would like the racket the strings to be actually above your hands right now and then if you had your elbow away from you that would kick that racket up and that would help you that but you really want your strings above the ball above your hands and above the ball and then what will happen is your swing drops down like this and then the racket ends up below the ball this way and you do a good job of getting below the ball you can see where you're at right there but really what you'd like to happen earlier in the swings is you would like the racket up there and then you want it to fall down this way to get to exactly to where it is so a little bit of work to do there and again this will all come together this is very common this is not something that you really need to worry about it's not a big deal but what happens is if you get that elbow away from you then the racket will start above your hands and it'll drop below your hands and then it'll come around this way like that